Hi everyone, welcome to the third video in our series where we explore the color tools offered by Filmora 14. In today's video, I will be walking you through some of the most enjoyable and incredibly user-friendly features within Filmora. If you are not familiar with it yet, Filmora has been quite innovative when it comes to integrating AI-powered features. Today I will demonstrate how to make the most out of Filmora's AI color palette along with its extensive filter gallery. So what exactly is the AI color palette? Essentially, it's a tool that allows you to analyze the color schemes of any image or video and apply those exact colors directly to your clips. This feature is a major time saver, especially if you are aiming to achieve a specific look inspired by your favorite film, photo or artistic styles. There are several ways you can access this tool and it gives you flexibility based on your workflow. You can directly select it from the toolbox category in the startup window or you can reach it through the color option in the menu bar on the main interface. Another convenient option is to click the icon located just above the timeline. And lastly, you can find it within the color basic panel as well. The tool itself is designed for ease of use. First, select the clip where you want to apply this effect. After enabling the AI color palette feature, click on the add button. Here you will encounter two options, timeline and local file. If you choose the timeline option, you can generate a look based on any image in your timeline. So it makes it easy to match scenes within your project. Click generate and then follow up by selecting save and apply. You will see this new palette appear alongside the other existing palettes. To apply it to a different image, select a new clip and then simply click on the palette you just created. This allows you to apply the color scheme you generated to the new clip. For the second method, you can also select an image from local file. For example, let's say you love the color scheme from Blade Runner and wish to apply it to your video. Just upload a still from the film and click generate. Also, you can preview it on the right window. And finally, select save and apply. Right below the palette, there are two additional options. You can use the first slider to adjust the intensity of the palette you created. It gives you control over the look's strength. The second option, Protect Skin Tones, allows you to maintain the natural skin tones if they are badly affected by the generated palette. If you are happy with the final look, you can save this custom palette by clicking the Save as Custom button down below, which then makes it easy to find it in the preset category for future projects. Both of these methods in AI color palette are quite useful. You can quickly create a palette with the footage on your timeline or you can select an image from your computer without even importing into the project. Either way, they are both very fast and effective methods. Next, let's explore the extensive filter gallery within Filmora. By selecting filters in the upper left menu, you will open a vast gallery of options organized into various categories. Here you will find dozens of filters and LUTs, each designed to help you achieve a specific look or mood in your videos. As an example, I will show you three filters that I like. But first of all, you should know that the different filters in this gallery won't fit every image you have. So applying every filter to your images will not give you perfect results. They are actually designed to capture the mood you desire, just to make your work easier. To get the best result, you still need to make adjustments after applying these filters. Let's start with an example. Click on the Feature tab. Here you can click once on any filter and preview the filter on the right. Click a second time and it will stop. I will choose one of my favorites, the 10 tone filter, because of its warm color scheme. I will drag it onto the timeline and you can see how it brings out the model's features and enhances the colors. Also, it makes them more vivid. If the filter feels too strong or doesn't entirely match the footage, you can adjust its opacity on the right side to control its intensity. Below that, you will see the Protect Skin Tone slider again, which can be used if the effect changes skin tones in a way you would like to avoid. By clicking on this icon, you can also create a mask to apply the filter only to certain parts of the image. For instance, if you want the filter to only apply to the model, you can mask around her and adjust the feathering to blend the effect. This is before and this is after. Additionally, you can invert the mask if you want to apply the effect to everything except the masked area. So, as I mentioned before, Filmora's filter gallery is impressively comprehensive. Let's look at a few more examples. 
In the creative category, there is an interesting filter called Liquid Mercury. This one would be perfect for music videos or creative projects where you want a unique look. Finally, let's check out cinematic category. One of my favorite one here is the dark film filter, which I think adds a dramatic and cinematic feel to the footage. You can also click on the star icon to save any filter you like to your mine folder. So you will be able to access them quickly if you want to use them later on. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I think Filmora's tools are truly worth exploring and experimenting with. By combining these awesome features, you will be able to create stunning looks for your videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.